Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to use the CSS transform scale property to scale an element on hover. So last time we just did it to change the way that it looks. And now what we're going to do is make it so that when we push our cursor over it, it uh, changes. You notice that there's a hover change for these menu items up here. And we're going to make it so that there's one for here, I think. Uh, the transform property has a variety of functions that lets you scale, move, rotate, skew, uh, etc. to your elements. When used with Suedo class, such as hover, Suedo class, that's the first time we've heard of that, um, that, spec uh, that specify a certain state of an element, the transform property can easily add interactivity to your elements. Here's an example to the scale uh, to, to scale the paragraph element to 2.1 times the original size when you hover over it. So it looks the exact same as our last one, but it has the element followed by uh, this element right here, which is called a pseudo class. So we want to add a CSS rule for the hover state to the div. Um, again, there's only one div here, and we've got a CSS class that attaches to it. So this is in, within the style brackets, we're writing CSS within here. And then this is the selector. And so um, this is an interesting one. It might be a bit tricky for those who are unaccustomed. So we want to add a CSS rule, which means we're not going to add it within here. We're going to add a new rule. So it's going to be div uh, hover. And uh, let's see, what, how, what would they like us to have in here? We want to have the transform property. And we're going to have it to scale to 1.1. So that means it's going to just slightly grow when we hover over it. Here we go. The moment of truth. Huh, it worked. Great. Now the size of the div should scale 1.1. So we run the tests. And it passes. And that's great. Um, we could probably do, say that we had, we could do another div that had, well, let's do one that has like an ID of bigger. Um, and we made it so that it would transform. And then we want to set it to on hover. And so we're going to have it transform to a scale of five. So it's going to get five times bigger. And then we'll set this new div down below. And we're going to have it have the ID of equal to bigger. And then we'll close that div. And now we have an even bigger one, and it gets huge. Yeah, so five is way too big. It's not even useful to see. But if we hover it like that, then we've got it much bigger. And so we can actually use these Suedo classes on elements that aren't necessarily main div elements. And we could probably do this also with a class. We can make this one uh, smaller with a class. Uh, and then we do it to the hover element. And then we transform the element to a scale of 0.5. And so theoretically, this is going to shrink the element. And we're going to want that third div to have a class equal to uh, smaller. We close the element. And now we should have a third one popping up. And when we hover over it, it's much smaller. So this one's a little bigger. This one's much bigger. And this one's smaller. And we can use these pseudo elements on both IDs and classes and then just main elements. In practice, you're almost never going to do it over main elements because uh, it makes sense to uh, shrink things down. With the ID, you do this to specific elements that you want to have specific values. But with classes, you'll do it to where the uh, CSS element uh, setting is supposed to have a lot, numerous of those. But that's outside the scope here. I was just trying to provide some um, thoughts on to make it so that these videos are a bit more useful than just going through this on your own. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it, and we'll see you in the next lesson.